All right, Jeff Lambert here, No Mess Roofing and Gutters, Roof Rejuvenation, save your roof, save your money. We're over here in spring uh, doing a roof rejuvenation, greener shingle roof rejuvenation treatment. And um, September 13th, it's about uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, I want to come around here. It's going to get kind of loud. I apologize, I should have did this beforehand. But since I'm right here now, this is what the chemical looks like. That's what we get in concentrate. And that's the way it should look. All right? That's concentrated soybean oil. We just put it in a little five gallon container. You get it in a six, 260 gallon tote like that. All right? And when you mix it in a 70-30 mix for us, it comes out in a milky white substance all right if you can see up there and i'm going to get up on the roof just so you can see the reason why i'm pointing that out is because our competitors will say that they do a 50 50 mix um, which means that they're putting far more oil on it but when they get their concentrated uh, mix it's actually already diluted and it's white uh, and it's diluted by 50%. And then they turn around and tell their guys to further dilute the product. So when you're spraying on a roof such as this, this is the way the product looks. Milky white, clears, a dries clear, puts the pliability back in the shingles. You don't want to spray that on top of these acrylic skylights and if you do you need to rinse it off and wipe them off real quick because it can cause an issue so you definitely need to be careful if you look at the top already it's drying so it dries rather quickly we already did a roof tune-up on this home again legitimate roof tune-up not, not just putting rubber boots over problem areas, but actually taking care of a roof tune-up so they don't have to worry about that for another, uh, I don't know, five years. It just depends on the type of climate or weather patterns that we're getting. So I definitely wanted to show you this, um, of it actually being applied to a roof, again, in which uh, it comes in a milky substance. Uh, it's soybean oil. 70 30 mix and then our competitors it actually is shipped to them with that milky white substance so that means it's already cut that's a big deal because they're further diluting the product when they get it and then you have other people out there that are trying to maximize the amount of oil that they're getting and they're further cutting it then they're putting a stringent agent inside their system and are inside their compound and what that means is the stringent is going to strip it's going to help clean that's for sure but it's also going to strip the oils so you should do either a rejuvenation treatment through greener shingles because it will kill and smother the black algae and over time i'd say six to twelve months black algae will rinse completely off and it's safe and it's the best way of doing it or you can do a roof wash either through roof shampoo or sodium hypochlorite which is bleach and uh, that kills the black algae and all the pollutants instantly and then you rinse it off and then it's a clean roof and then you have to wait I'd say at least a couple hours unless it's a super hot day and then you can do the conditioning which is the rejuvenation treatment so you're putting the oils back in the shingles and we've done that several several times especially for realtors uh, or for homeowners uh, that are looking for that curb appeal um, and just looking for the best aesthetics. But as we go further and further in applying this product, we really do sell against uh, applying additional products that are harmful to the shingles. Even though ARMA, the Shingle Manufacturer Association, says, you know, use bleach to clean the shingles, that's worst case scenario. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, and then you have to rinse it off and it depletes the oils uh, the bleach 
it's a salt so if you don't rinse it off it's going to turn into crystallized on your roof and it's going to deplete the oils that are already depleted especially if it's got black algae on it which means that that's further depleting the asphalt oils because it absorbs heat if you don't have the proper ventilation that's going to deplete the oils on the shingles there's so many different things so you want to put the right product on your home that's going to give you uh, the most longevity i'm not going to say the biggest bang for your buck uh, even though we're still less expensive than uh, roof max and we're far superior to them or any other product out there people are on their second and third generation products and greener shingles first generation products blows them out the water and i mean that uh and it's not because i'm biased <laughs> but it's because i've looked and searched uh, research i've traveled spent my own money traveling to different states looking at the products of the different companies watching them apply it coming back years later checking it out and uh greener shingles was far better than anyone else uh, greener shingles doesn't have as big a presence as let's say roof max uh, but it's not necessarily how big you are it's who's the best and that's basically it so you could be a goliath but we're david and we're definitely gonna uh take them down uh and what i mean by that is just do what is the right thing to do solve problems collect checks inform and educate customers uh i'm a little out of breath here i'm sorry i'm, I'm literally like in a little tree and there we go installed six inch gutters here got a nice four by five downspout over here look at that nice four by five let's look at it six inch four by five t wedges for support just looks absolutely beautiful leaf blaster plus which is exactly the type of roof that this should be installed on it's not a very steep steep roof um, but they're kind of hidden here <laughs> in the trees uh, anyway you know I, I get very excited when I'm doing sprays and I don't always record them because sometimes we're busy or I get other calls uh, my mobile office is in the van so I'll be taking care of other things but whenever I can do a video you know I, I definitely jump on it as quickly as possible like I did here because uh, I'm gonna have to get on some other things that we're doing so I'm just gonna walk around the back here so we can take a look at it all right all right all right um, he has a reverse curve system in the back uh, it's working fine for the roof mask so I didn't recommend taking it off but when we go to spray we have to rinse all that stuff out because even though it's an all-natural soy oil um, you don't want to let that stuff just sit inside the gutter so you have to rinse it out um, and that's what we do and then we capture it with the downspout sleeve or sock whatever you want to call it right there and then uh, we turn around and capture contain and dispose of accordingly you know walk through these trees again turn this back around reverse curve on this downspout right here they had a downspout snake in it which means that the debris was all the way up to here from there in regards to being completely clogged we were able to get that out using the downspout and salvage uh that downspout and also um you know tell them that the reverse curve is working for that amount of roof mass completely filled with debris it's never been cleaned he was he sold on it big time but you know i agree that hey if it's working for you why replace it the front wasn't working for him so that's why we replaced it but when i came into the back and i'm telling you the wife wanted to replace it i mean she was just telling me give me all the signs replace 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 the husband was like ah, i think we can you know get away with not replacing this and i agree with him uh and anyone else would just be like, yeah, it's an outdated system. The companies went out of business. I would just for peace of mind replace it, but it's working and you just need to maintain it. So there's no need to replace it. We'd have got paid a lot more money if we would have replaced it. But again, it's not necessary. Uh, only do what's necessary. And, uh, and that's what I believe in. So I'm gonna say the same thing one more time before I shut off. <sighs> Whew.
tired here. We want to turn around, go out to customers' homes, educate them, solve problems, collect checks. That's what it's all about, baby. Stay golden, Holden boy. Pony boy! <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.